Greetings once more radio people, welcome back once again to my shack. While we all wait to die of this hideous virus that's sweeping around the globe, I've been thinking a bit more about directional couplers. Now, you might remember a while ago we made a QRP Labs 10 watt QRP-ish linear, and into that I built a directional coupler and some power measurement in software, more as a bit of a technical exercise than an example of the greatest construction in the world. And this is basically the directional coupler that I built. So if you want to see the details of that, I'll link in the other video down below. Now, Peter G8KWX has been in touch with me. And he's found this little board here, which is a design by DJ0ABR. And this is a directional coupler that that German station has built. It also includes the AD8307 logarithmic amplifiers on it. Now, Peter's kindly posted a couple of these to me and um, when I get them I'll have a fiddle with them and see if they work any better than the nightmare that I built last time but if you remember my my efforts of last time let me show you what I did last time so this is the directional coupler that I made last time just knocked together on a bit of board RF in here uh, antenna socket here re reflected and forward power FT 5043s 10 turns of wire and then a different attenuator on each port. Now, I've done a bit more with it this time, and what I've done, I've built another one, and I just happened to find a nice little metal box to put it in, and I've cut up some circuit board to try and decompartmentalize, if you like this. So I've also tried to seam solder around. Again, hideous construction, not my best thing, but from a practical perspective, it should work a little bit better. Now, what I've also done is I made another couple of the logarithmic amplifiers that I used last time. So these are AD8307s. I've mounted them on this tiny little board with a few extra components around them. So this will be the forward port, this will be the reflected port. And what I've done is I've written a bit of software to try and have a look at the values, the voltages coming out of these logarithmic amplifiers. Now, when we built the one for the uh, linear amplifier, I noticed that the power was quite sporadic. It jumped around kind of quite a bit. So looking at it, you can see that the, the, the voltage level coming out of the logarithmic amplifier is actually quite noisy. So what I've done in the software this time is I've taken 100 samples, actually 10 milliseconds apart, take 100 individual samples to create a data set. From that data set, I've calculated the 85th percentile and then rounded up to the nearest 10. And from there, I've converted that to dBm and then rounded to the nearest half a dBm. Now, I did a very similar exercise to last time and I used my signal generator at 12, 6, 0, minus 6 and minus 12 dBm and at this time I just used 1.8 and 28 megahertz and then I recorded the the ADC value after I'd taken 100 samples, calculated the 85th percentile and rounded it to the nearest 10. And then the average of the two of the two different frequencies I, I logged. So I've done that for the forward board and for the reflected board. I've then plotted those two data sets on this graph and added a trend line in Excel. If you create, if you look at the data set, you can add a trend line, ask it to add a trend line. It's just a linear trend line. And there's an, always an option in Excel to display the equation on the chart. So if we look at my forward line, which is the blue one, this is the equation for it. So what this basically tells me is how to interpolate from any analog to digital converter reading. So any output of my sampling of 100 values 85th percentile round to the nearest 10. So any any number at all that comes out of that algorithm, uh, I can then convert to dBm using this equation here. So for example, if the uh, ADC reading was 2345, we would know that that represents 7.917 dBm of RF or 0.00619 watts. So that's the kind of thing that we've, I've done this time. I've written a few more algorithms, I've done a bit more in software, and I've built a bit of an experimental power meter. I'll show you it in operation, I hope you like it, I think it's kind of neat. So here's a quick overview of the power meter in operation, you can see it's still very much a uh, prototype. So the directional coupler that I've made is here, I've talked you through that, it's just, I've just put the lid on, that's all I've done, I haven't done anything else. Um, these are the two uh, logarithmic amplifiers that I've made. These are using the 88307, quite obsolete, out of date component now, I suspect, but I had some kicking around. This is the uh, STM32 Blue Pill 
uh, microcontroller board and then the ili 9341 display uh, with touchscreen included so the the software as i explained is taking a hundred samples um, of each of the ATD converters, so of the forward power and the reflected power. It's taking those samples every 10 milliseconds, actually. The code is, is designed to run and pull a sample in every 10 milliseconds. Then every two seconds it does the calculation of the value, so you can see that the screen is updating every two seconds. So what we're saying at the moment, I'm feeding in about a 9.5, 10 dBm signal from my signal generator down this bit of uh, fairly wet string into the directional coupler there's a dummy load connected here then this port here is connected to here and this port here is connected to here so we're currently calculating a forward power of around nine and a half dbm a reflected power of minus 11 and an swr of 1.2 so the, the software is doing all the maths and all the calculations as i've tried to explain i've put these smoothing algorithms in which seem to be making this very very accurate now according to the maths that i I've done I think this will work from around minus 35 dBm up to about plus 60 dBm and if you wanted which is over a kilowatt of course but if you wanted to um, to use it at even higher powers you'd simply have to add some attenuators to the output of the forward and the reflected ports but I, I'm quite pleased with this looks like quite a nice bit of fun and certainly an improvement on the thing that I created for the uh, for the linear, the QRP linear that we made together. As ever, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and I look forward to seeing you next time.